Well, these final days racing here. This is a good Gold Cup day, the final day. Last few races at Prosperi Park. Limerick Lace won the race here. 10 to 5 race here in Cheltenham, Presbury Park for Gold Cup Day. Certainly, punters have taken canvas due to the rain. And here's the winner. Sorry about the rain here. Limerick Lace in Cheltenham for the 10 to 5 race. There's a centaur over there. A retaken canvas. Not rain in the last what, quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. We haven't stopped play here at Presbury Park in Cheltenham. Final day's racing. Gold Cup Day, the 100th anniversary this year. TV crews are down there. I think Princess Anne may have come yesterday, from what I hear from the media. We've got a photograph down there. Certainly quite wet here. Not ideal for photographs. Ten to five race. Winners here. So I say winner and runners up. Still quite busy here, although a lot of people have left on foot. Although final race, there's always an extra race on Gold Cup Day. You'll do a lap of honour shortly. And here it comes. Limerick race, winner of the 10 to 5 race here in Cheltenham. Looking well for it as well. A few photographs, no doubt. A few more. Move on to Brown, the leading jockey at the meeting as well. Ruby Walsh, no stranger to this title. He's heading up on the podium to make a presentation to the man who this year is the leading rider at the 2024 Kelvin Festival with six winners. The leading jockey this year is Paul Tannen. Well done to Paul. Sun out here after quite heavy rain. With today's so quite a few people here on the concourse, Presbury Park. Racing year here in Cheltenham, Gold Cup Day. And it's the 100th anniversary this year, 2024. One more race left, one more race. There was an extra race on Gold Cup Day. Got 
and 20. Raff race 5.30. Now, we're on quarter past five. Some people left already. On various buses, and of course on foot. A lot of people on foot. Still a lot of people... Here. I believe Princess Anne was here yesterday. Horses all coming in here. Sounds put up specifically for the festival. So they're looking forward to seeing horses in the break here in your company. I would love to see Nicky Enfield go out with a river and a long time with the Trans Festival North at their peak success. Fingers crossed we'll go out and have a bit of luck in the last four years. Standing just coming towards us here now, horse number 23 on the list. Those horses that have. Thought to be not so busy as pre previous years. Although, best mate enclosure prices are up for tickets. Final race, half past five here on Gold Cup Day. Final day of racing here in Cheltenham. Sun is out. After the rain. Looking across Presbury Park over towards Best mate enclosure. Over there. Final race half past five. Gold Cup day. 100th anniversary. Best mate enclosure. The prices have risen this year. Oh, he's half past five, two and a half miles. Alcohol flowing in abundance, of course. Out on Gold Cup Day. Over Presbury Park here. There's the old Bedford Barn there. Still going strong. The gym bar, there we are. One of many establishments around here. 100 years of the Gold Cup. 
First colours of Big Lebanon is the white cap, no ordinary Joe. After torrential rain, the sun came out and more. Uh, certainly. More fitting condition to see horse racing now, just about. Final race, half past five. Yellow and blue porters share for the 21 Harris Stevens. Nearly grey is number 11 Angel's Breath, Dylan Johnson. Maroon with a white star, the matching cap number five, Kane the Volbop and Michael O'Sullivan. Brown yellow chevrons for 22, Jason the Militant, Joe Williamson. It's all quite busy here. Green and gold hoops, the green cap with the white star is 13 water and whispers, Mike O'Connor. Yellow with the green star, 5 1 and 5, though in watch. Yellow with the blue stripe, answer to Kate by the dark blue with the rumpy pink sleeve. We've got the Princess Royal stand there. Of course, there's the Tassel Horse and there's the Best yeah, Mate enclosure. Final race of the Gold Last Cup the day here. Hundred anniversary in the Taking a tough the Gold Cup the day final race. Joe Audrey, Joe. Right on the tape is Jason Militant. Final race, we're off here. Gold Cup day, final race of the day. Half past five. As they go over, flight number one is Waterford Whispers. They're all safe the end of the first. And they're moving very keen to the start. Shed was slowly away. It's now the back half of the Angels. Angels breath also towards the rear. And so too is Sonic Gino. Flight number two at Atwood. Short Sahini with the all in good spirits final race on the inside of Waterford Whispers Waterford Whispers they are in second and third place is then Kane de Morbon and on that one's outside Club enclosure is there Waterford Joe if they make the turn in Russia Ruler is racing towards the wide out sky ticking towards the inside is Holland Games who've been hunted up by What's Up Darling as they come